Hello and welcome to Project-wise Administrator Fundamentals Accreditation Course Defining Workflows and States In this lesson, we will learn how to define workflows and states. We will also learn to associate the states to the relevant workflows. Prior documents can take advantage of the workflow states to track document progress, project-wise administrators are required to define workflows and states using project-wise administrator module. The workflow names, the state names, and the number of states that are in the workflow all are configurable by project-wise administrator. Project-wise administrators should work with users and try to understand their requirements, then to define the workflows and the states accordingly. My only recommendation is try not to create too many states that a document has to go through. Not every activity or task that user perform need to convert to a workflow state. The simpler, the better. The smaller number of states that documents have to travel through, the better. The exercise for this lesson is we will create two workflows. They are design workflow and the drawings workflow. The design workflow will have three states, work in progress, review, and approved. The drawings workflow will have five states. They are work in progress, content check, and notation, and notation check, and approved. So from the administrator module in the workflows node, there are a number of workflows already existed in the data source. And it is perfectly fine to have multiple workflows in the project-wise data source. However, only one workflow is allowed to be assigned to a folder. In the next lesson, we will see how it can be done. To create a new workflow, right mouse click, on the workflows node, new workflow, give it a name, design workflow. Follow the same steps and create a drawings workflow. Workflow will not work at all without the states. So let's go to the states node. And here we see a number of states already existed in project-wise data source. These states here can be reused and shared between the workflows. If the states that we want is not here, we can go ahead and create new states. Right mouse click new state and give it a name work in progress. Review and approved already existed. So we won't need to create these two states since the following states do not exist. And so we will create them. Content check and notation check. And notation, once we have the workflows, and the states ready, we can go ahead and select the design workflow and associate the three states by right mouse clicking and add state. This is how we can assign the states to a workflow. The states in a workflow will travel from top to bottom, just like the way it is displayed right now, because it is displaying alphabetically. So it doesn't make sense that a document is approved before the work in progress. So we are going to reorder the states so that it is logically correct. Similarly, the drawings workflow, we are going to associate these five states to this drawings workflow by right mouse clicking it, add state and select the following, work in progress, content check and notation and notation check and approved. We also need to use these icons to reorder the states that the documents will have to go through. One additional note, since the states can be shared between workflows, both the state name and the state description should be generic enough so that when sharing the states between the workflows, they do not clearly reflect that the state name or the description is created for a particular workflow. During this lesson, we have learned how to define workflows and states. We also learned how to associate the states to the relevant workflows. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with others. If you want to see more like it, please consider subscribing to this and Bentley's other channels. Thank you and see you next time.